Okay guys, welcome back to Business with Zander, aka Zander Dreams, where we discuss everything business and entrepreneurship. There are plenty of home-based business ideas out there, but if you're looking for something that will let you exercise your creativity and work from home with supplies that are easily attainable, then a handmade business might be for you. It doesn't even have to be anything that you have to make yourself. What do you think would be a really cool concept for a product that's already there but unique to you and only you alone? It can be anything and in this video I'll be showing you guys some examples. You know how sometimes we all try to DIY some things because it saves us money? And it's also a little fun activity to do. Sometimes all it takes is a DIY for you to figure out your next business idea. This girl does flower monogram letter arrangements and I bet she had zero experience with flower arranging before she started this business. YouTube is also a gold mine for DIY tutorials which can be turned into business ideas. So stop making excuses and start that business. I've always taken some interest in embroidered prints because they'll always last longer than your normal screen printing which eventually fades. I definitely believe that this little machine is a good investment and when you double up with good quality blanks then you're able to price your products in a sensible manner because people can see that you prioritize quality over quantity. You can't tell me that Bruce won't be on this hoodie for the next 5-10 years. With the current state of fast fashion and overconsumption, plastic waste continues to become a problem. For some businesses, using plastic is one strategy that they use to help reduce these issues that we're facing. This has to be the most impressive thing that I've seen in a while. She's literally using things that are already available. I'm pretty sure a lot of us have plastic all over the house and most of it comes from the food that we eat on a daily basis. This just goes to show how little to no money you need sometimes to start a business. Tell us if you have asked to see the results. Um, how do I make jewelry out of plastic bags? The yarn from the previous video, I've used it to make this prototype. It's a test for the new collection that I'm working on. And this is a previous collection, which is mostly colorful earrings. There's bigger ones, smaller ones, all in different colors. The metal parts are also made by me. They are made mostly of brass and some silver and the color is given by the powder coat the plastic bits are a bit squishy as you can see they are not scratchy at all and then I've also made some bracelets they do expand and it was just hard <laughs> to put it on with one hand here's the other bracelet it's not scratchy at all it's very comfortable and then this is another collection here's two brooches from it and then there's the paint on the back Hope can you just imagine the market size of a soap business or do you ever wonder how much the brands on each aisle of every supermarket make from just that one product i definitely think that the cost of making soap is very low you just need to figure out how to make soap literally sometimes the problem is us there's vast information on the internet about each and everything that we're so used to making excuses that we don't want to put in the work to learn about a certain product or business. We just look at these big brands and think that it's not easy to start or maintain that kind of success. In a way, we psych ourselves out of starting a business or thinking that we can have a business as big as, let's say, Louis Vuitton, for example. Or as long as there's a market for your product, you will never lack anything in life. Sure, you might come across some challenges, but do you think that these challenges will always await the success that you may get? Personally, I don't think so. 
you guys i've come across people complaining about how people just buy things and then resell them and i'm just like isn't that the whole point of business why is it okay for people to buy t-shirt or hoodie blanks or any kind of clothing and put the logo on it but when it's something else they want to act like it's the most immoral thing that you can do plus no one is forcing you to buy anything if you don't want to buy it then just go on about your business don't even say anything about how you feel or give your unsolicited opinion listen you came into this world alone and you leave alone naysayers are just a waste of time and energy so don't pay any mind to them if you want to be successful in this life Can y'all see just how creative people are? This business owner started a watch business, but it's not just any watch business. His watch dial design looks like a car rim, which has to be the coolest thing I've ever seen. See, this is exactly his unique selling point. His competitive advantage as they call it in the language of business. Polymer clay can be used in so many crafts including jewelry, home decoration, pottery, scrapbooking and so much more. It's hardened by baking and it can be sanded, buffed, glazed or painted. Starting a business can seem really intimidating, but it's not as hard as you think. About four years ago, I started making slime in my bedroom and never expected much to come from it. Over time, I had a few videos go viral and my business started to take off. We went from getting under 10 orders a week to thousands. I had to move production from my bedroom to the garage and then eventually to a full warehouse. For me, starting small and posting consistently was the key to growing my business. Check out the link in my bio to learn more. Anyway guys, that's it for this video. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, and like, and I'll see you guys next time.